So today I'm going to be answering the age old question of how many case fans do you need in your PC? A lot of cases these days come with 2, 3, 4, some even 5 fans built into the case which can be really good. But what if you don't have the budget for that and don't think you need any more fans or you want a quieter PC? Well today I'm going to be figuring that out. So let's get into it. In terms of the specs of the system, I've got a Ryzen 5 5600 and an RX 6600 XT both running on a B450 motherboard. In terms of the case, I'm using the MB320L from Cooler Master. Now this case isn't really optimized for airflow, but it's got a little bit of airflow and ventilation so that you can have that extra performance if you have the fans for it. In terms of the fans I'm running, I've got two Corsair AF120s running as exhaust and I've got two Cooler Master sickle flow fans running as the intake. Without further ado, let's jump into some games and see how it runs. Alright, so we've just landed, GPU's at 70 degrees, CPU's at 64 degrees, so really not that bad yet. And uh, we're getting good FPS around 116, 87 and 67 respectively. So yeah, it's definitely a playable and good experience, uh, even though we don't have any fans on in our case. So yeah, I think it is plausible to do, um, but we'll just have to wait and see if that temperature rises any more than it already is. Where are these guys fighting? So, GPU's hitting 70 to 8 degrees right now, and CPU's at 71. So yeah, it's really getting up there, slowly but surely. I reckon eventually we'll start to thermal throttle and we'll see a little bit of a drop in performance. And by some miracle, I somehow reached top 2. So here's an intense fight. No! Alright, GPU hit 81 degrees, CPU hit 75, and I'm fuming there right now. I'm not mad at all. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at all. Okay. Um, so yeah. 80 degrees, 75 on the CPU, really not that great, but it's alright. So, let's turn on the fans and see how that works. So as you can see, we're already seeing an improvement in Fortnite. Right now we're sitting at 65 degrees on the GPU and 56 on the CPU. I think the CPU was something around 60 degrees last time and the GPU was around 70. So yeah, big improvement already considering we've only just started playing. Alright, so after about 3 minutes we've risen to 66 on the GPU and 62 on the CPU. So overall not bad considering last time we were around 70 at this point. Ha! Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep shooting me. Keep shooting me. I don't think I can outrun this guy. Just quietly. Ah, oh, come on, man. Good luck finding me, mate. So, 67 degrees on the CPU and 60 on the CPU, that's a lot better than last time, considering last time we were seeing about 80 degrees on the GPU and around 73 on the CPU. A lot better. So yeah, in Fortnite we did see an improvement in FPS. We went around 11 FPS up in average FPS when we had the fans on and we gained about 5 in the 1% and 0.1% lows. So overall it's around a 10% improvement. So in conclusion, do you really need case fans? Well, if you don't really like noise in your PC case and you want to keep things nice and quiet in your room, then you don't need fans. But if you want to get the most out of your performance, yeah, get some fans. Especially if you're using a worse cooler than mine, I have a Hyper 212, but if you're using something like a stock cooler, that could really impact performance and you'd see a lot more thermal throttling than I did. But overall, yeah, it's not too bad if you don't have any fans in your PC case. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe as I'm trying to reach 1000 by the end of the year. And as always, I'm TechBiz and I'm out.